So, uh, I'll be speaking on stratifying risk factors affecting open globe injuries uh, using AI, our 10 year data set. I have no financial interest. So, of course, we're a lot of talks on uh, penetrating trauma. We're aware of the fact that it is an emergency. It's one of the most common encountered emergencies in the off-tile OPD. And the way we assess it is, I think, kind of common. Having said that, there are various ways of managing, prognosticating these, and uh, it's uh, you know very very important that we kind of manage them quick, manage them right, uh, so that we can improve their long-term outcomes. When we're looking at prognostication and factors, there are a lot of scoring systems, OTS, the bets, which looks at you know pre-operative factors which can affect post-operative outcomes. Many of them are, of course, known. You're looking at age, you're looking at pre-operative visual acuity, yeah. the type of injury, the severity of the injury, posterior segment involvement, cataract. <laughs> Having said that, a lot of work has been done on factors I've told, but in, in the Indian context, uh, many more factors in terms of if you look at demographics, you know, the gender, the place where they come nice. from, socioeconomic profiling, you know, their income, and how much time those patients right. take to come to the center, these are also factors which can actually affect the way we're, uh, you know, looking at these injuries and how it can affect outcomes. So why did I use AI? There are various ways of analyzing this data set. We, we had a data set of 10 years, multiple time points, over 1,000 eyes. Uh, AI kind of gives you, you know, risk stratification scores, and that is the reason why I used AI in kind of analyzing this uh, data set over the last 10 years. So our, my research question was on using AI to stratify preoperative factors. Uh, I looked at 1,324 eyes. This was, uh, you know, patients who had primarily undergone corneal tear repair, corneal skill tear repair, or skill tear repair. Uh, these were categorized. They had a minimum follow-up of two years uh, as good or bad outcomes after two years. And we also looked at the factors which I told. Specifically, we also added demographic profiling, uh, socioeconomic strata, you know, their income levels and how much time they actually took to come to the hospital. And I incorporated an AI model. So just to, uh, you know, uh, simplify and cut it short, there are a lot of classifiers which you use in AI. One of them is known as a random forest classifier. What are these? Are These are basically, uh, you know, decision tree classifiers which help in kind of stratifying and, you know, separating out the data. There are other model classifiers as well, something known as SVMs and neural networks. And what we found in our cohort is the RF classifiers are the most accurate. But having said that, the most basic steps of how we create an AI model is put in the data, use a part of the data for training and testing, and then finally, you know, validating the results. That, however, stays common irrespective of the type of classifier. And this is the software which we used. So, uh, I mean, when we looked at the 1,324 eyes, uh, the median age is, I think, concurrent to previous results. Of course, younger po population more prone for injuries, a lot of workplace injuries. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, pediatric population formed almost 39 and 40 percent of the injuries, uh, you know, dealt with at our center over the last 10 years. The AI model, in fact, was quite accurate. There are some parameters which we use, such as the area under curve. Uh, we also use the confusion matrix. Now, what is interesting is, in terms of uh, the factors which the AI picked up, I mean, we normally would think it would pick up factors such as cataract, posterior segment involvement, no doubt. But a time, uh, you know, to the hospital with a cutoff of four hours was surprisingly a cutoff picked up by the AI. And this also correlated well with the place of residence, which was not uh, in the city where my hospital is located. And it was also correlated with the income level. So multiple referrals, increasing the time to the hospital played an important role. And that was the second most important factor uh, generated or detected by the AI. So we are, of course, aware of the fact that traumas is a huge burden, especially in our country. The fact that we need to tri triage, treat them early is important. What I try to basically look at is the fact that known factors will not change. You know, the extent of the injury, the visual acuity, cataract in character at or, you know, retinal involvement is not going to change. But unfortunately, you know, the modifiable factors is something which we need to look at, which includes, you know, uh, triaging, referring. There needs to be a better system of referrals and that in a long way can help in prognosticating outcomes. Thank you. Very nice study, all the retrospective, uh, how much, 1,000 plus is the number I just saw. So fantastic, that's very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Any questions? You will raise? No. Uh, did you compare it with the BETS classification? So we did do BETS. Uh, what we tried to look at is um, uh, additional factors in our context. For example, many of the patients, of course, do, they do have, you know, you're looking at the extent of injury, the type of injury. But uh, demographic factors in terms of their socioeconomic status, how much time they actually take to come to the hospital, and how many referrals. <coughs> and that what we found is picked up as one of the important parameters, which is trying to tell me that we cannot change the fixed factors. 
but the modifiable factors such as you know uh, triaging or referring it quickly is something which we need to work at uh, i mean apart from that the classify classification we looked at ots we looked at bets yeah. uh, classified these patients is yes yes sir and uh, apart from those uh, parameters you have compared looked at demographics looked at as well yes we have added that as well sir. 